Can you remember the last time I produced one of these shows without mentioning the word carbon? Nope, me either. And I'm not done yet. So yesterday it was announced that all 33 of London's local authorities had signed up to a route map that would require the retrofitting of some 3.8 million homes to achieve a net zero rating by 2030. This coincides with the release of a new guidance for developers in the capital that is aimed at making London a net zero city within the next decade. The guidance requires developers to monitor and report the operational energy performance of major developments for at least five years post-construction. London Mayor Sadiq Khan sees this as a critical step in moving to net zero carbon buildings. I'm committed to delivering a brighter future for London, one that's greener, fairer and more prosperous for everyone, he says. All of which is just dandy. I'd like to think I'm as green as the next guy. And if I were a construction company that found itself in the eye of the green refurbishment storm, I'm pretty sure I'd be ordering my Ferrari right about now. But here's the thing. There was a time not so long ago when a building or a home falling short of current standards might have faced demolition and subsequent replacement. That would probably not apply to all these 3.8 million homes detailed in the Net Zero route map, but it would probably have applied to at least some. But now, as the global focus shifts towards the preservation of carbon, there is a very real possibility that a lot of replacement will now give way to refurbishment. That looks set to impact upon London and upon its London demolition contractors. But if that trend takes hold in the nation's capital, it's highly likely that the rest of the country will follow suit.